Hi, my name is Jessica Aldridge. I am the Director of Sustainability and Zero Waste Programs for Athens Services. California passed a piece of legislation called Senate Bill 1383, and that requires that all single-family dwellings, multi-family dwellings, and businesses collect all green waste, food scraps, and food soil paper 100% fiber-based. The reason why this is so incredibly important is because when organics go into the landfill, they start to decompose. And when they do that, they release the third largest source of human-related methane emissions. By taking the organics out of the landfill, we are protecting the environment and human health. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a portable pill to collect your kitchen food scraps and food soil paper. Using your kitchen pail to collect your food scraps is as easy as one, two, three. One, fill, two, empty, and three, rinse and repeat. First, we gotta decide on what type of kitchen pail you wanna use, right? You can collect your organics in a bowl on a counter. If you wanna use a container, reuse something that you already have, like a coffee canister, a margarine tub, or a yogurt container or if you want a fancier option, you can use one of these. Go online and search for Kitchen Pail or try out your local hardware store. Whatever container you decide to use, make sure that it is easily accessible in order to collect your food scraps. That could be on the kitchen counter, under the sink, in the freezer, or really wherever you think is best. Once you are ready to start using your pail, make sure what you put in here are acceptable food scraps and food soil paper. Athens accepts all types of food scraps, including fruits and vegetables, bread, pasta, eggshells, meat and bones, dairy, coffee grounds with the filter, and also non-medicated pet food. We also accept 100% fiber-based food soil paper that has no coating or laminate, and that could be an egg carton, it could be a pizza box, a napkin, or even like this container here. See, when you rip it, there is no laminate or coating, 100% fiber-based. Some of the items that you do not wanna put in your kitchen pail include tea bags. They actually, a lot of them contain plastic. Uh, the twisty ties and the clips and the rubber bands, things that can be on fruits and vegetables, do not place these in your organics container either. And then also, really important, remove the stickers from your fruits and vegetables. All of these items are considered contaminants in your organics container. If you have any questions about what can and cannot go in your organics container, check out Athens What Goes Where guide at canirecyclemy.com. Bags are optional if you choose to line your container. To avoid plastic bags, you can use a brown paper bag or newspaper. Athens does accept plastic and bioplastic compostable bags. However, and this is really important to note, they must be clear or translucent green in color, and the contents inside the bag must be visible, like this. Although Athens accepts these plastic bags, they will be ripped open to liberate the contents inside, and the bags themselves will not be recycled or composted. When your kitchen pail is full, it's time to empty the contents into your organics container. If you live in a multifamily residential complex, check with your manager or HOA to confirm how they want you to collect the organics and where to drop them off. Next, rinse and repeat. Athens recommends giving your pail a quick rinse with water and soap every time it's emptied in order to keep it in tip-top shape. And that's it. Here are some additional tips to keep in mind when using your kitchen pail. Avoid overstuffing the pail. Empty the contents of your pail as often as necessary. Always keep the lid closed to prevent fruit flies. You can also place it in the freezer. Avoid strong odors by freezing spoiled and smelly food like meat, bones, and dairy, and empty your pail into the organics container on trash day. 
lightly sprinkle baking soda on the bottom of the pail to help absorb odors. By participating in Organics Collection, you are helping divert organics from the landfill, and you're a part of the solution in helping protect our environment and future generations. For more information or tips, go to athenservices.com forward slash food. Let us know your questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching.